Richards now trying to tuck up on the inside. Waits for Hurtunji to go deep. Hurtunji does go deep. Contact happens in the middle of the circuit. That over? That's over, yeah. That's long. Show us time paid, look at Me on some military. I know that you're feeling me. Yeah, this is the feeling you get when you feel it and all of the feelings here. Yeah, I'm no hero, I'm just a man. This is what I does, go hard with the plan. I am a titan, we roam in the land. Remember the name, you gon' know who I am. I need yeah. my throat, I need it all. So we're uh, after the first race event in Riga and uh, luckily we already prepared uh, our two cars for the next morning and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying the company of two of our team members Tony and Niklas. Uh, Tony is actually there from day one and Niklas is our youngest and he's the, the last one that's in the car team but he's so eager and it's these times are really rare that we just can sit down and have a chat and look at what we accomplished. Yeah, we had some, some dinner and I think yeah, maybe we chat for another half an hour and then we go to bed and tomorrow it's another competition day. So we have to get up early, but it's kind of good that we're not under the car changing anything. So this is really, really uh, yeah, quality time for me now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Riga and welcome to round four of the Driftmasters European Championship here at the Bikernaki circuit, an incredibly dangerous and fast circuit. It's time to stop talking. It's time to start throwing these cars at that first corner. Let's head straight to qualifying. Joe Hutunji, who's on the star line, didn't qualify yesterday. Wow, well, that up to the curb goes Hutunji. Scrub the wheel on the curb. Nice job at the end of the run there. Hutanji, they're getting very comfortable in these cars now. We now move to Eli Hutanji, and he is sitting currently uh, with us out of the competition with a 67. He's got to pull in a big run here. Big lockup of the handbrake and front brake as he comes through that first corner and transitions back. It's nice and steady. Eli Hutanji's got to be brave here and go wide. Solid run, consistent run, better than his first for sure. I'm so, so happy and Joe is still uh, currently in 12th position, so both cars in the competition, so I'm so happy, yes! I will meet Adam Zalewski, first time. You've met him a couple times, huh? Yeah, Adam is tough, but the nice thing with him is you can just Oh yeah, yeah. No, no holding back necessary. Yeah. I think he thinks the car behind is the police taking him to jail forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he only needs to drive moderate, they're only going to take him for like a year or two, you know, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rock, man. You're gonna kill it, all right? You're qualified, have fun, learn the grip, it has loads. But the track is gonna be grippier now. Tires and its sun is on that rubber, okay? Best of luck, I'll be on the radio.
Hartmann. Spaß. Es geht um nichts anderes. Es geht um nichts anderes, als wir Spaß haben. Here we go, back on the line, another heavy battle here. Nodoko to take on Joe Hutanji. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one because Joe Hutanji, while he would have come into this with massive amounts of ranking ahead of Nodoko, and also, you know, he's an ex, you know, European champion and all that good stuff, still learning this car, but however, putting in some very good qualifying runs. First time we really saw Joe Hutanji's potential in this car was qualifying today, but Nodo. Kodua is a very capable driver from Georgia, a very aggressive driver, and he's already up for this. He's left the line, and the lead car has knocked over the cone. Will this be a false start, or will it be a goer? It's a goer. It certainly is a goer. Look at that little flick, a little waver across the track. As Hutanji fires in that BMW, Nodo Kodua goes through the smoke, looks for the side of that BMW wheel up on the curb, shallows up the angle as Hutanji fires it in. You can see steering corrections over. Hutanji goes for outside zone five, that opens the door. And the door is open as Kodua gets onto the side of that GA2 BMW, waits, jumps and pounces back on the side. It's a good run from both lead and chase there. I mean, these are two guys starting to get very comfortable with their machinery on this circuit. And while it wasn't an exceptional lead or an exceptional chase, they're both still in the fight. Well done. Du musst gut dranbleiben. Er war bei dir gut dran. Gut dranbleiben. Go get him. He's going to try and uh, use all the legs in that little BMW. He's got you know, nearly a thousand horsepower. He's got a lot of power and a very lightweight chassis. I think I think Joe Tony's going to have a struggle to keep up with him here. Yeah. He's come he's cut, look, he's pulling no gap here as Joe Tony initiates very early and very shallow to try and stay with Noto Kodua. Oh. And go off the track. Oh, Koda has put big angle on it, he's having to shallow it back up again. And that upsets Joe Hutanji, this lead not as clean as what we'd expect. Hutanji now starts to get himself back into the fight. Kodua transitions into outside zone six. Now opens the door, look at that, Hutanji, oh, goes for it, stalls up, finds himself on the inside edge of the circuit. I'm not sure, Dave, but scrappy. Very scrappy. I thought, you know, it might lean towards Joe Hutanji until that last corner. He makes a big error, he dives right across the track. We can see it from the judges who's going through. And it will be Joe Hutunji going through to his first top 16. Impressive progress by the Red Bull Drift Brothers to get those cars in the top 16. Oh, it is early. So I am nervous now, yeah? That's what's so good. Yeah, here's another big battle coming up. Eli Hutonji, Adam Zalewski. Well, Adam Zalewski, you know, you heard Connor Shannon say it at the top of the show. He was like, this guy's a stone cold killer. Doesn't make any mistakes. And the man who makes a few in this new chassis is Eli Hutonji. He's had some great runs. He's had some mixed runs. And we have got one Hutonji brother into the top 16. I think if you took, you know, the team aside in the morning and said, can you get both cars in the top 16, they would have, you know, snapped your hand off. But can Ellie take down what is inevitably one of the favorites to win the competition today? Big, big task on his hands here. Well, he's been on the podium already this weekend. And Zalewski knows what that champagne tastes like. It's been a long while for Hutanji, but these brand new cars are proving a demon to move over. Look at that. Oh, it's a big error. It's an error. But Hutanji's gone wide as he got lost in the smoke. He drops a wheel up on the curb, and that was a brave move for Hutanji against Zalewski, but he knew he had to do something. He had to bring something to the table. Zalewski sticks a back end on the wall and across the line. Damn it. My f***s were a bit too small. Damn it. <laughs> He's so angry. I had him on his ropes. Damn. Do a clean lead one now, Eddie. Just do a clean one. Yep, yep. I'm at the start line. Okay, best of luck. Send it. This is really hard. This is really hard. But he's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive here uh, if he wants to test out Eli Hutonji. He doesn't need to be too close with Eli Hutonji making big mistakes. But uh, try to tell that to Adam Zalewski. Oh, big mistake from Zalewski. Gets a little bit of understeer himself in that first corner. Does very well to manage it. And now he's in the smoke cloud. We can't even see him as they transition back. He's very close to Eli Hutonji here. Oh, but another mistake, a little wobble from Adam Zalewski. He's got to watch himself here. Oh, it's, it looks like Eli Hutonji having, or having a bit of an issue there. And um, Zalewski straightening up a little bit. We talked about mistakes. That's a few unfortunate ones for uh, Adam Zalewski there, and I'm sure uh, Eli Hutonji did not expect Zalewski to be making so many errors in the chase position. Awesome lead run, dude, awesome lead run. I have no idea how he followed you in the smoke. 
Good job, Eddie. Good job. I think I think Utunji's mistakes were pretty sizable on his run. So let's see which way the judges go. And they go towards Adam Zaleski. Adam Zaleski getting the win. Going back to you, Kev. Ian was being pretty harsh on Adam Zaleski there. But you saw enough over his two runs. Uh, Ellie did a really good job. Um, yeah, but Adam was just a tiny bit better than Ellie. Um, oh, on the chase run, he was awesome. Tiny, tiny bit um, in the lead. I mean, the leads were very comparable. Yeah, comparable. Ellie just wasn't fast enough in his lead run, and the tires were too much yeah. grip. But like Adam's chase run was just—I don't know how he didn't get lost in the smoke. I was in there, I could not see. I was there, the GT86 completely disappeared. Now everybody out there—they're all talking about how fast these M4s are today, right? They are. They're all saying, "Where are you getting this speed?" Like now, the rumor is. You have 1,200 horsepower. Have I heard you've upped the horsepower? I said the horsepower is the same as ground back, guys. I haven't touched the map, and that's the truth. I haven't touched the maps. That was an awesome lead run. It was, it was not enough in the chase. I know, I know, I know, but it was but an awesome lead I, run. I learned something more. Just keep your right foot down all the time. Yeah. In case of doubt, flat out. Yay, now he's <laughs> Irish. Truly <laughs> Irish. If in doubt, flat out. Yeah. Never can I give up. Start with the show, can't switch up. Yeah. Never had a beer, had a sit up. Yeah. I remain myself, never kissed up. Always sit in the bar, no hand up. Yeah. I was feeling torn down, but manned up. Yeah. He's a badass driver. He is. You just have to give it all. He got me on top of my game like a PSP. Been all that like TLC. I'm brand new for no BLT. On the way to the sporting tower to watch Joe. Uh, he's up against Martin Richards. He has won this event quite a couple times. And I think we have the speed, we have the power, and Joe has the confidence that he can beat him. So yeah, my fingers are crossed and I wish him all the best of luck. we go back to the start line, it will be the pride of the UK. Martin Richards to take on the pride of Germany. Joe Hutanji in that brand new BMW G82 4 Series to take on a man who is the former king of Riga. This is two very experienced guys. Joe, get him. So nervous now, so nervous. Big flick across the track for Martin Richards just flirts with the edge of the track and Joe Hutunji now starts to drop wheels. Look at Martin Richards right up, right up on the curb. Stay close, stay close, man. And Joe Hutunji starts to fall behind. He hasn't got the pace of Richards, the most comfortable man up onto the wall today. Gets the job done. Joe Hutunji has no answer. Do an, do an awesome lead line. He will have a hard time staying with you. He did a, not a good lead line, so if you do a really good lead line, you can beat him. Flicks that car in, gets it up on angle, fills outside zone, leaves it a little bit early. That owns the door. Richards now trying to tuck up on the inside. Waits for Hutanji to go deep. Hutanji does go deep. Contact happens in the middle of the circuit. Oh, that's that over? That's over, yeah. That's I think Richards hit him. Yeah, look, he's hurt his hand. Did you have contact, Joe? Did you have contact or did you hit the curb really hard? No, I think you've broken something in the rear. Totally broken. That's Martin's fault, is it? Martin hit you. Martin hit you. We are true. We are lucky. We are true. Uh, Martin Richard hit Joe and he broke a suspension part, so Basically, it was Martin's fault hitting Joe, and now we have to fix Joe's car, but we are through to the top eight. First time top eight for the new cars. How much time do you have left? Uh, probably 30 minutes, something like that. We'll, we'll manage. Left me 
off the line and I was trying to play catch up the whole lap. Martin just hit me and broke the suspension part and luckily for us the judge just deemed it his fault and gave us the win. Not the way I want to win to be honest, but I take it. Now another challenge for our tech guys, best tech team ever in the world. Hoping to get that fixed and see who we got next. Do you want to beat us? Bob Aiden, crazy, amazing. Very lucky, but amazing. Do you want to beat us? 22 spanner. So if they cannot fix it, it's not fixable and it's never happened and it won't happen. Guys, we'll fix it, or we'll work and we have another chance. Almost, but it's fixed, yeah. Hat jemand getankt? Ich hab getankt. Liegt im Auto vielleicht noch einer? Tag Team, did it again. Hat mir jemand ein Metallis Auto packen zum Rausfahren? Zwei Reisungen? Ja. Well done, guys, it looks awesome. Genau, ich brauche jetzt erstmal Urlaub. Ne, wo? <lacht> Wellness. Oh ja, Mann. Unglaublich gut. Unglaublich gut. Aber ich sage ja immer noch, wir brauchen gescheite Fahrer. Aber das glaubt mir nicht. Sein. <lacht> Jack Shanahan now goes up against Joe Hutanji. Hutanji not messing around though. This is a bonus weekend for him. He's got wide, super wide. He's absolutely tore the back end of the car in half. Uh, so Joe was behind Jack Shanahan. He threw it in as hard as he could, but unfortunately it was a bit too hard. Lucky that he didn't crash into that really, really bad wall there. Really lucky. So I'm happy that the car is still in one piece and Joe is fine. Uh, a bit bit sad after <laughs> this team effort but yeah that's it for for today uh, that's that's it for this weekend Huh? Couldn't shift. Couldn't shift? No. Stuck in third gear. Couldn't shift from two to three. And then now from three to four. Easy boy. Easy boy. Not easy. You look like a fing idiot. No, you didn't look like no, no, no. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. You did an awesome initiation. If this was in third gear, you didn't have any chance, man. I was just shifting up. I had to pull, 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 and then it grabbed dirt, but it was way too late and I was already way too far gone. Easy, boy, easy. The car is somewhat in one piece and you're alive, okay? You did everything you could. The car let you down. Wir sind alle stolz auf dich. Du hast Unglaubliches geleistet. 
Jo, du yeah, hast. Exactly war gut, ja, du warst auch gut. You saved the car from the wall. Well, the f done. Exactly. I was there going, oh no, 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 no. And you saved it from the wall. Well done. That's all that matters at this stage. I don't give a f about the competition. You don't have to ring BMW and go, we need another chassis, please. Come on, man. Don't beat yourself up. You did amazing. You did amazing, okay? Du hast ihn gerettet. So, seems official, huh? It's official. Round five in Georgia is cancelled. Cancelled. Yeah, it's bad as an athlete, but uh, seeing the amount of effort to get there. Just the pure distance is insane. Yeah. I mean, would have been a blast. I think the location looked amazing, but it is what it is. Let's go tell the boys, huh? Yep. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop. We just got an info from Drift Masters. Actually, the last race in Georgia is cancelled. No competition. Good thing is, we get to go to Hockenheim Ring to some show runs during the DTM weekend, so. Cool. Don't really Pretty have cool. to stop. Yep. Cars can go in the trailer anyway. We are at the Hockenheim Ring, home turf, at the DTM race, second to last DTM race. The show must go on. So we have the opportunity to present our sport here to a different audience. So they are here to look like normal road racing. DTM, I think everyone knows it. And we have the possibility to show drifting, our sport, to a broad audience. And yeah, we do some show runs and normally it's quite fun to do so. I mean, the taxi rides are maybe the part where you get the most direct response for how amazing it feels and how amazing it is to be in a drift car. So do we need anything? Is it loud? Earphones? Your car is louder, I guess. Okay, then just enjoy. Don't worry if there's smoke coming. <laughs> Good, let's go. What a ride. Crazy ride. Really crazy. Ups and downs. But yeah. Think of where we started, man. Would you have ever dreamt that that would be true? No. To be honest, no. Same here. Same here. Getting the cars. Those cars. Those cars. Those cars. Getting them to run. Okay. 
Running. Like after all this, I didn't, I didn't think that this would become reality. To be honest. Yeah. But yeah, done a long yes. way. Very long way.